my disclaimer is there. And I've got another, can you hear me? Or is it too loud? It's good. I've got a few more disclaimers. I'm no geologist. And I'm not a mining engineer. I'm a physics engineer. And uh, what's very interesting here is uh, I did my CFA. I've got over 30 years experience in managing money for a really big bank where I met Chad Williams. As soon as I met Chad Williams, who founded this with one employee that was him, he's done a superb job. And uh, <coughs> he's established uh, Victoria Gold. Victoria Gold has now 500 employees in the Yukon. So Chad has a good experience <coughs> in the Yukon. Uh, so Anne Badger, if you were at the lunch today, you notice Mr. Ross Beatty talking about how important it is to acquire projects right now because it's cheap. So uh, that's what Honey Badger is doing. They are acquiring projects, <coughs> ounces of silver in the ground. He has a very good experience with the Yukon. And then what we do later is we uh, uh, will get partners to uh, mine the properties, and then become a royalty and a stream company. Okay, so we're not really exploring, we're buying old projects or existing projects, and uh, we're not a mining company yet. So Honey Badger is a way to get exposure to silver. Um, so we buy properties, farm them out, <coughs> keep the royalties. Uh, silver is a critical metal that I know. It's best conductor after gold. Uh, it goes in iPhones, iPads, uh, computer screens, medical devices, uh, electronic guidance system. We're not supposed to talk about that, but uh, someone mentioned it at lunchtime, like uh, how much silver you need in those uh, guiding systems. Uh, the most important one is uh, goes in electric cars, but so solar panels. And solar panels are uh, going to increase in number and in importance uh, for at least the next 10 years, maybe more. Uh, medical properties, uh, one, there's a say in French, um, it goes, uh, you're born with a silver spoon. Now, some people don't get it, but it doesn't mean that you're rich. It means that if you eat with the silver spoon, it will kill your bacteria, so you're healthy. It's a sign of health. Uh, in the old boats coming from France, uh, they would put a silver coin in the barrels of water. Like I'm the ninth generation of uh, uh, loggers, lumberjacks. So <laughs> I know about <laughs> this thing. Okay, so go to silver ratio, 86. Uh, the long-term average was between 16 and 10. So if you like uh, gold, you should love silver. Uh, in the cross of the earth, uh, gold to silver ratio is about nine to one. So you can tell right away that silver is way more valuable than gold. Um, unlike gold, silver is not recycled. It might be a bit recycled, but not really. Um, and from reading different books, I know there's lots of gold s stored anywhere in tunnels and this and that, but uh, silver doesn't get stored. Uh, okay, so Anne Badger has four properties in the Yukon. I'll uh, just go briefly through them. One is called High Property, H-Y. It's a large um, road access property that hosts extensive silver rich carn prospects. It has given, um, uh, I just will click this. It has given over uh, 684 grams per ton of silver. 9.3% uh, uh, zinc and 11% uh, uh, lead. Okay, so you'll, you'll notice, you will notice that uh, silver, zinc, and lead form a nice family because they always come together. Not always, but often. Uh, Groundhog property, that's another one in the Yukon. Uh, it's a gold infrastructure 
in a prolific but act inactive uh, silver lead zinc district. Uh, we've had samples there of 13,000 grams of silver, 85% lead, 4.4% zinc, and 1.18 grams of silver. Uh, that project is accessible through a um, seasonal road. Okay, now we're getting to Clear Lake, also in the Yukon. Um, it's located 225 kilometers north of White Horse, accessible by helicopter, which means uh, these properties will cost you more because you have to move everything by helicopter. But the jewel of the portfolio for the Yukon is called Plata Silver Project. It's located in east central Yukon, 140 kilometers of a town called Mayo. I've got no idea where that is. Uh, the grades there are between 1,700 and 10,000 grams of silver per ton and 30% to 70% lead. And the other type of uh, mineralization at that Plata project is um, reaches 78.6 grams per ton of silver, uh, gold, I mean, and 19,000 uh, grams per ton of, uh, of um, uh, silver. And now we're in the process of closing an acquisition in Chile. Chile is still, so far, a safe jurisdiction. Uh, the name of the property is called Cachanel, and it's a low sulfidation epithermal silver deposit with a small uh, national instrument, 43101, a resource of about 20 million ounces of silver. Uh, property is located uh, 175 kilometers southeast of Antofagasta, Chile. Uh, I hope I said that right. Uh, within 16 kilometers of the Austral Gold Limited Guanaco Mill. Okay, this mill is able to process 1,500 tons per day. So it's, it's 1,500 tons is a very good size for a mill. And um, what, like, we just closed the, the transaction. Actually, it's, you know, it's up happening, but um, if we merge our properties in Chile with the Austral Gold properties in Chile, we can create a district, a mining district. So uh, yeah, so for Cachanal, you can go there with a highway called the Pan American Highway. Access is provided along sand and gravel roads. Uh, Nearest community is a village called Talal. I've never been there. Uh, and there's no demands for permits yet, uh, but we'll get there in due time. So Cachanel, uh, I've seen some of the numbers and when it's running, it should throw lots and lots and lots and lots of revenues. And uh, it could get going within 18 months. That I cannot promise it, but uh, actually, uh, I've been with uh, Honey Badger for two weeks, so I cannot go through all the details because I'm not uh, uh, yet up to speed on every single detail. But uh, like I said, I've known Chad for uh, since 1995. First time I saw him, uh, I saw, wow, that guy is smart, and uh, I know he can build business. And so this is one of the business he wants to build, and. Uh, it's good to uh, buy when nobody wants to buy, and uh, we're sure here right now. Mm -hmm.